What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Credential with a video that you can definitely benefit from for many reasons for of a one simple change on your Xbox settings. This will help you out with faster downloads if you want to be a host of the game, if you are unable to connect to a friend's party, uh, or even to join a game, if you're even having NAT issues, if, it was, if you have moderate NAT or if you even have a strict NAT, it will make it into open. This video will show you how to fix all of that and many more just for one gosh darn simple change on your Xbox. But before we get into that, if you can do me one itsy bitsy favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it on all of your social media, because I'm trying to get my content out there to educate the world so y'all can learn from it and benefit from it. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to be messing around with the DNS settings. But before we do that, I want to run a speed test on my Xbox. Such as, I want to go ahead and download uh, a game. And for this case, we're going to be updating a game. So if you see on the bottom left, let me go ahead and remove my little advertising banner thingy. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. So as you see on the bottom left, uh, you'll see all the games and the storage and whatnot. So what I want to do is I want to go to Paladins, right? And I want to resume the up, uh, updating. And this will show you how fast my uh, connection is. And I'm just going to give it a second to see where we're, we're going to be ranging from. Now, if uh, this will work on Wi-Fi and either on Ethernet as well, if you can connect an Ethernet cable, this will show more promising results. But um, either way, it'll work on Wi-Fi and even on Ethernet. So right now it's ranging anywhere between 30 and 50. Okay. So I'm just gonna give it another second, just to make sure that we're gonna be staying in that range between 30 and 50. Okay. So to get more of like to double your speed or triple or quadruple the speed or whatever, right? Like definitely you have more um, downloading speed that you can spare and you know you can get that. But however, you're not getting that. So I know for a fact that I can get more faster download speed because um, I'm paying for a higher package with my ISP. So what we want to go back to is hit the... Um, guide button go to the cog then where it says settings select that then you want to go to the network then network settings select that then you want to go to advanced settings and now we're gonna go to DNS settings but before we go into that I'm getting a phone call ah, it doesn't matter okay so uh, let me talk about DNS um, and as you see on the right on the DNS section, it'll say 75.75.75.75, then the next line over, 75.75.76.76. If you all have Comcast or Xfinity, that will show your numbers. If you have a different internet service provider, it'll show different numbers. That's completely fine if you have a different internet provider. We all have different internet providers. But however, we're going to change our DNS into different numbers. Now let me explain the benefits and why we're changing this and whatnot. So with your current numbers and settings on your DNS, basically, um, I'm going to use this method. From point A to point I, this is, this is your current settings that you have. So from point A to point I, and every letter in between represents a hub. So point A means it's your Xbox. Point B means it's your hub outside of your home where everyone else is connected to. You all see that green hub or that silver box where your uh, technician always goes at and provides internet to your neighbors and whatnot. You see that guy working on that hub, right? Okay, so that's where the internet starts connecting to and that hub will connect to another hub and that hub will connect to a central office where the ISP um, is centralized that. Then from that um, hub, it'll connect to another hub and another hub until it gets to the Xbox Live servers. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So basically, with your ISP from point A to point I, those are your ISP settings. Now, if we were to change it to 
Cloud's Flares DNS, which we're going to show you here in a second. On Cloud's Flares DNS, basically they will cut that destination in half. So instead of from point A to point I, it'll be from point A to point D. So it will cut that destination in half. With changing the DNS settings to Cloudflare, Cloudflare specializes in routing and also privacy. So if you guys like to have privacy and whatnot, I would this this will benefit you in many other ways. Like I said, just Google Cloudflare and their DNS settings and see where you can benefit from it. There's so much to talk about, but we're going to keep this um, straight to the point. So Cloudflare will go from your house to your hub, then to the central office, then to the Xbox Live servers. They will route things to the shortest end to give you that faster connection speed. So I hope that made sense to you guys. Anyways, let's go ahead and change our DNS settings. Now, um, so you want to go to the DNS settings, go to manual, then it'll show primary IPv4 DNS. So it'll be one dot one dot one dot one. That simple. And as for the secondary uh, IPv4 settings or DNS, it'll be one dot zero dot zero dot one. And we're going to go ahead and hit enter. Now, as you can see on the right, it'll change the uh, DNS numbers. Now, if Cloudflare DNS doesn't work out for you guys, uh, you can even use Google's DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. And as for the secondary, it's 8.8.4.4. I will leave a whole bunch of hosting providers DNS in the description down below. So you guys can give that a whirl. So now what we want to do is test out our speed connection. So what we want to do is, hold on, I have a brain fart. Okay, so you want to hit the guide button. Sorry, it, it tends to happen from time to time. Um, go to the guide button, and you want to go to the My Games and Apps. So select that. And again, on the bottom right, um, it'll show the speed and whatnot. So we're going to go to the queue, and we're going to go ahead and resume updating. And let's see where our speed's at. Boom, baby, look at that. That that doubled or tripled or that made it so much faster. See, this will help you guys out. Your speeds may not look like this, but if it shows even greater speeds, awesome. Awesome, awesome. But it gave me the speeds faster than what it was already giving me. Okay, so I hope this video works out. If you guys find this video beneficial and whatnot, for the love of God, please slap a like, share the video, share it with your friends. Again, it will help you out with the speed. It will help you... Here, let me go ahead and uh, pause all. Again, it will help out with the speed. Um, if you're unable to connect to a friend's party, this DNS settings will help it out. Um, a party on their, you know, on their, on the matchmaking game or on... On an actual Xbox Live party where you just want to chat. Um, if you want to host a game and whatnot. There, there's just so many things that you can benefit from. Including what I just said. The NAT problem. And a lot of you are like, hey, I have a strict or moderate NAT. How do I make it open? This will help it out. So, I hope that this really does help you guys out. Again, leave a like, subscribe and whatnot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again Chasing Benjamins, running till the very end Yeah, every day I'm feeling great Better than the day before and you can see it on my face Smiling with my glasses on like I'm blind to all the hate I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting like a cake